Hello, I do welcome you here once again. This is Do With Me channel and as usual, we are going to continue how to use Microsoft Access in all forms. For now, we are done with the school database management system. We are done with the examination management system and we are still continuing. But today, I was doing a project that's point of sale system for a client and I thought of doing a video on it so that everybody to get his or her share as far as Microsoft Access is concerned. So this is how the system looks like. The POS system, when you open like this, it will ask you to enter your username and password. As for this one, because of the tutorial, that's why I've put my image here. So when I'm done, the final part, it will be different. So here, enter the username, then the password. When you are done, go to log in. So when you log in, this is the sales form. The sales form, when you come to down here, you select the product you have to sell. Chocolate, then the quantity, let's say four, then it come down here so looking at the top here we have user id that is the easiest the id two is it shows that we had there are two users and there is the second user that is the name username and a payment method here the source id there is it means this one is the 20th source i'm just making the total amount so when you just add a product here add a quantity the subtotal will be 24 cities and the same that's what is showing here amount paid nothing has been paid so the balance is what 24 cities now i'm going to add another product that's done simon i'm going to make it the quantity is going to be one so now when i just uh add that, that one you can see that initial the total was what the total amount was 24 cities now 45 has added making was 69 going to add the last one that was going to be this one to let him make it let's say two and now you seeing the total amount is increasing we come to the amount paid this one is 85 so when we make it let's say 90 then you come to the payment method that one cash there are different methods that is acceptable cash mobile money check and other so select that one and looking at it after a payment, see the balance is now level toward five cities. So that is it. Now, when you are done with this, we you have to print a receipt. A, a receipt. You come to print receipt, and this is the receipt, the name of the company or the shop, then cashier's name, the sales date, and these are the details of the products that are bought. Down here, total amount, amount paid, balance, and the payment mode. That is it. So there is it. Now when we when you are done, you go to complete sales, click on OK. So now looking at here, initial here was empty, but now you could see that this one is showing low stock product. It means the product this one is below the uh the real order level. When I when we talk of real order level, uh real order level, it means you have to set a limit for your products let's say the product this one is chocolate let's say you want the system to notify you when the chocolate the quantity is reduced to let's say 10 or depend on the quantity you want you'll get to the product table and i'll explain it better for you so this is it now if you want to let's go to the main form and uh let's also observe other parts of the of the system like i said this one this app is still under development so i'm not done with it come to add product so here is where you add a product product name you give the name category which category does the product belong to the price the stock quantity how many uh what are the quantity of the product now let me close this one come to all products so these are all the products so the road level i was talking to you about this is the first one the quantity is six and real order level is what five it means whenever you don't have to wait for all the 
items or the products to get finished before we get we get notified if not when someone comes and there's nothing there to be trouble for us because next time the person may not come again that's so that's what the real other level does you set the real other level so that when it gets to that level the database will prompt you and you have to get additional products before everything uh, uh, finishes that is what the real other level does it uh, depends on how you want yours to be this one i've just set it 5 10 10 3 but i can make it 30 50 depending on how people come in to buy your products so that is it that is it now let me close they come to our stock so in case like let's come to let me go back here is our products now uh geisha the quantity is six the real order no that is the chocolate the chocolate the quantity is what seven but the real order level is what ten it means it is less than the real order level you can add top up let's say in case you want to add more come to our stock then select the product so here chocolate so how many are we to add let's say 16. so when you click on add stock okay now chocolate has been added to it 16 has been added all right now when we come to our products now consider chocolate instead of uh five was it five seven it has now increased to what 23 it has now increased to 23 and when we come to the form sales here it means when you sell it out when you sell it now looking at it now the remaining stock has been what 23 that is it that is it instead of seven it has now become 23 and the moment the moment you made you make okay let me let us do it and you understand our chocolate let's make it it was 23 so let's make it a uh, i'm going to sell five of it and now the payment mode let's make it mobile money it's 30 so this one let's pay 30 all right i mean the balance is what zero when we come to a uh, print receipt you can see that yes that is it now when we complete sales all right now this one since chocolate quantity has become more than the real dollar we've seen it is gone so let me go to the products now you can see that chocolate drinks it was what 23 and i sold five now it has reduced to what 18. so this is how the system works but before we go we move on let's go to the main form then we come to reports so the reports when you click on the drop down we have still history when i click on it and you go to pre, uh, print history and uh, report you can see that this this one shows all the items that has been sold that has been sold looking at it we have page one of three so we come to next come to next and these are the items that have been sold now let's close you come to stock movement that is a product that have been added these are the products then go to the last one that is low products when we come here because all the products are above the real order level that's why nothing is worth showing here that's what nothing is worth showing here all right so this is what we are going to do or we are going to look at today so stay tuned relax and wait as i'm taking you through the step by step at the end of the day we have a fully functional point of sales system in microsoft access all right so now let's close this one and let me close this go to new blank database and i'm going to make it my my point or point of so all right then go to okay so here we are going to create some tables for our work go to the design view the first table we are going to create is the products table so this one is going to be products so the first item is going to be product id that is going to be auto number product name that is going to be what uh 
short test then category the category it can use lookup or we can create a table for that depending on how you want it or you can choose to enter depending on how you want it or how your client want it to be so that is it then we come to the next one is going to be price the price is going to be what currency and the next one is going to be quantity that one is going to be a number and the last one is going to be re order level that one too is going to be a number so we just close it and we save it the next table we are going to create is we are going to create sales table so we'll go to table then go to sales first one is so id that is going to be uh auto number then so date that's going to be date and time this one come down here the default value we make it uh now instead of date we make it now because we want to include date i uh, want to include time to the date all right the next one is going to be user id that one is going to be a number since this one we are going to inherit the user id from the user table then the next one is going to be total amount that's going to be a currency then payment method is going to be this one is going to be look let me use look up for this one So this one is going to be what cash mobile money check yes let me make it uh, this three so this one to come to the lookup down here limit it to the list yes and don't want to allow any value edit a uh, list edit then we come to amount paid Amount paid is going to be a currency and the balance, the balance too is going to be what currency. All right, so that is it. Close it. Now, the next item or the next table we are going to create, we are going to create sales details uh, table. So go to so so details. We're going to okay. So the next is so detail ID that's going to be what auto number. Then the next one is sale ID is going to be a number since you are going to it's going to inherit the foreign the, the product key from the sales table. Then the product ID two is going to be a number. You have quantity. Quantity is going to be a number. Then we have unit price going to be currency. The unit price is going to be currency and uh, the subtotal. Subtotal two is going to be what currency. Good, that is it. So we are going to create our last table. We are going to create our last table. No, we've created product table. So no then we have to uh, we have to add two more so let's create another table that's going to be the stock table that's going to track the stock so this one is going to be stock uh, stock id auto number 
then product id is going to be a number then quantity added is going to be a number the next one is going to be date added is going to be date and time so this one the date and time can set a default date and come to default value say now good let's close it save it and create the last table for the users so this one is going to be users user id then the next one is going to be full name as going to be short text then username short text password short text and row since we will uh, set permissions and restrictions just as we did in the school database management system so if you've not watched that one you can go back and go and watch so that i get fair idea on how the system works all right so these are the tables that we will need for now these are the tables we need for now well i will end here for the first part in the second session or the second part we will look at creating the various uh, forms queries and then the almighty coding the deal with it so please if you, if you if you are new to the channel and have not subscribed kindly subscribe like share and click on the notification bell for future upload video uploads stay tuned for the next part and that part this time i'm not going to make it be peace i'm going to make sure the next part i will try all my best to put everything in one video so that it will be once and for all but all the same please take care and bye bye